Hi, Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries, and today's Daily Pulse is from the Word of our Lord in, in John, and it concerns about just how Jesus calls us. And, and check this out. It's in John chapter 6, verses 64 to 65. Yet, Jesus, this is Jesus speaking, yet there are some of you who do not believe, end quote, for Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. Jesus went on to say, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled him. No one can come to me, Jesus this is, unless the Father has enabled him. John chapter 6, verses 64 to 65. And the reason I've shared the scripture is, I, you know, a lot of times I misdirect my, my, my frustrations. You know, I've done previous daily pulses where I, you know, was shaking my fist at the devil when really it was God I was shaking my fist at. I've had something similar to that occur to me in my own life with, you know, praying for my friends and some family members to come to know the Lord. I mean, for years I would say, you know, why doesn't such and such, you know, I, I just, knowing the joys of Jesus Christ, so I just pray this person comes to know the Lord and, and then you'll, you'll pray and then you're like, well, why don't they come to know the Lord? And I don't mean it from a judgmental standpoint. I'm not the judge. That's not my business. Jesus is the judge, the righteous judge, the truthful judge. But I, I want, you know, from a selfish aspect, you know, I'd love to spend eternity with some of my friends and family who I know aren't saved yet. And, you know, so my, my frustration was being pent up towards these, you know, friends of mine and family who don't believe. And you know what? Right there, God, through Jesus, tells me that that's misdirected. You know, if I've, you know, you've got an issue, take it up with God. Because, you know, as I'm praying, you know, please, would this person come to know Jesus? Really, who I should say is, dear Lord, and I, and I do, and I've, I've amended my ways. Thank you, Lord. Dear Lord, I just pray that you would open the heart of this, this man and this woman to come to know Jesus Christ. They would have a personal relationship with you because it's going to occur on God's timing. And I know for many of you, if you've got a spouse who's not following the Lord and you know, hasn't accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, that can be frustrating. I know that firsthand from, from my own life, you know, as I was not walking the walk, and other of my friends who have spouses who are not engaged. And again, not a judgment, just rely on God's perfect timing. He will bring all things and reconcile things to him in his perfect timing. Just trust him to take you through that in Jesus' precious name. Amen.